iPad case made of bouncy balls. Oh, neat! Oh, oh, oh. This is Drop It Without Breaking It. I build a lot of things that get broken or break things here, so this is gonna be a little different challenge for me. I've dropped TVs, I've dropped all manner of things, most of which didn't survive, but you know, we had a good time. For round one, we need to protect this disappearing dino bug, but here's the catch. We can only spend $10 in materials and we only get five minutes to build whatever's gonna save this thing. Two can Sam! This is the mug. Round two, we gotta protect this thing, Das Boot, which is made of glass, for 20 bucks. It's gonna be full of beer, gotta use a parachute, but if we save this thing, 100 bucks in our pockets. And then finally, the piece de resistance an iPad. So if we can make something out of bouncy balls to save this, we get to keep it. We get a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite, but we can only spend $30 on materials. If we can save it from breaking, we get to keep it. We? All right, to the drawing board. We have our plans, we have our budget. Let's go shopping. Let's do it. to keep this mug intact after it drops off the roof, you'll win 50 bucks. You guys have five minutes starting now. Oh, oh boy. A cheap way we can keep this safe quickly is to just cover it in expanding foam. Sloan and Corey with the foam, it seems like a good idea. I just don't know if they have enough. We need the foam to expand. I know, I needed the foam to expand. Uh... Well, everyone, it worked just as we I thought it would take up more space, uh, but I'm, I'm feeling hopeful. Well, I'm not rooting for you. When are you ever? What's the plan? Well, we're gonna try to turn this big sheet of foam into a giant wing for this toucan to fly. It's gonna be a styrofoam stealth bomber. Your five minutes starts now. You know, trying to cut the, the hole out and I use the wrong end of the mug to cut my hole. I don't got time to worry about that. I gotta get these wings cut. Take that side off. Oh, we got to get the streamers, dude! Yeah, if we don't get those streamers on at the end, I mean, this thing is not gonna have a whole lot of pizzazz. Hurry! Go, go, streamer! Ah, ah, it's hot! Ah! Whoa, that's time! Okay, I see the vision now, right? What's your prediction? It'll at least get into another time zone. Let's get this thing up to the roof. Let's throw it! All right, we've got our toucan glider already. Now this is our five minute build. I think it's just gonna dive bomb into the pavement and- Hey, you put Steven right there, I'll go over his head. Oh, okay, okay, okay! Oh my gosh. Perfect landing, still good enough to drink at him. Our spray and pray method, I didn't pray hard enough. Here's what we got. So that's not what expanding foam is supposed to look like. That's not the business. So I'm gonna pull this out as best I can. There was a mug in there, right? We had a plan okay. and um, well. If it falls just right, there's a chance this won't break. I'm actually kind of confident that it's gonna work. Hey. That had to be fine. I didn't hear any that sounded like a half deflated basketball. Okay. I think, ew, that's real sticky. I don't know how you're gonna get all this foam off of it to, to drink out of it, but... Put it in the dishwasher. It worked! I think it's yes! We need to drop this off the roof using a parachute and we can't spill a single drop. I think the way to keep all of the beer in the boot is to use something in the shop from our Candy Hearts video, and that's a bunch of gelatin. And now we mix for five minutes. I've never made a parachute before. Seems kind of floaty. We got our holes in our little plastic sheet. I think what we're gonna do is kind of pad the boot a little bit with some foam. How is it not bothering anyone else that Sloan is using gelatin in the beer? We're gonna try this with a hammer. Seems like it's gonna weigh about as much as the beer. I think we need a bigger parachute. 
So I pulled my Jello beer out of the fridge and um, it's got foam on top of it and it, 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 it it's Jello. We tested out our smaller parachute and that was not cutting the mustard. This one's three times as big. When I looked up online, like beer Jello shots, um, there were no recipes. It's a thing people don't do. Um, and maybe soon we'll know why. We're making some parachute pants out of Hans's old pants. Ooh, yeah. We decided that the best option would be to drill holes and we're gonna attach our parachute to them. The only purchase we made for this one really was the diamond bit. It's not gonna work. <laughs> what part of it won't work? There's no way that works unless your goal is to make the boot explode when you drill into it. Have you ever drilled into glass before? Oh, no. no, hell no. Why would that be ridiculous? It'd be dangerous. Are you crazy? I'm gonna try to drill into this thing just like my YouTube teacher taught me. Let's go put a parachute on it. Yeah. I got to film the other team making their parachutes, so now I know how to make one. So this is gonna be pretty good. All right. So unless this thing falls at like an inch a second. There might be some crackage. Well, look, we can drink our beers because they're not in jello. They're just up there drinking. Stop, throw! One, two, three. Oh, oh. oh. There's water all over the building. Oh, oh, oh. Do I feel bad that Steven and Eric's beer boot exploded spectacularly? <laughs> no. Jiggly, jiggly jello beer. I think this is gonna be our secret to not spilling a drop. Sloan and Corey kind of cheated a little bit. I mean, the gelatin thing is clever, but. Came down hard. Have we spilled any beer? Since you turned your beer into jello, no, they didn't spill any. Guys, <laughs> none of it could have spilled. Followed half the rules, so they get half the money. Final answer. Brand new Nintendo Switch Lite, still in the box. If we can get enough balloons on this thing, we should be able to have this bad boy slowly drift to the ground. We're gonna use so many balloons. A whole bunch of balloons filled with helium. And we're just using the helium that was already at that 19. I would like to have anywhere from 20 to 30 balloons. I have no idea if we have enough helium. It's really hard to tell how much helium we're gonna need. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm cutting these bouncy balls. I've cut them about halfway through and I'm gonna use them as like corner bumpers. Just saran wrap the bouncy balls to the back of the switch. What could go wrong? They make iPad cases. So why don't we just make an iPad case out of bouncy ball material? We got so much leftover putty from our giant bouncy ball. We're gonna build a form, stick some putty in there. All right, we're gonna need five pounds of each, Eric. Why? I'll just make what I make, all right? We only need like 10 pounds. I think he just carried like 50. We got more putty to weigh. But you're also making it so heavy but it might bounce higher. We are not enough people to mix that amount of putty. But we did like 200, didn't we, for the big one? It took two days and like 20 people. I wanna make this thing so big, they can see it from space, but Steven's saying no! Just visually look at how little space we have to fill. Do me to have, do me have. A 26 pound iPad case. We're needing it. My calorie counter is loving it. It's saying, Eric, what are you doing? Today is, you're crushing it. Perfectly centered. Yeah. So we've designed this with a, a patent pending tab design. And that enables us to be able to pull the pad out as if it were a regular iPad case. Come back and uh, hopefully it'll be solid to drop. All right, this putty is set up. It's time to take it out of the form. Is it gonna survive a 30 foot fall? I think so. Baby girl! I think the use of bouncy balls is pretty minimal in this one. The wind is kind of starting to whip up a little bit and it's like changing direction, so I have no idea where this thing's gonna go. I think some kid in the neighborhood's going to be very excited. Yeah. Let's hold for wind, everyone, no need to- No, 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 there's no holding for wind. Nothing happened! 
sure. The balloons worked great. There it oh, is. Oh, man. Fired right up. iPad case made of bouncy balls. It's possible, though, that the shock destroys the iPad, even if it doesn't kind of like break it. I'm up there making a video message to Jamie. Oh, Jamie, you ready to take a little trip, dude? Okay, let's do it. Oh, neat! Kind of bent and it popped that iPad straight out to the moon. I gotta say, it is hot. I mean, if I can't have the iPad, no one can. Tune in next time, see what we do and what we destroy on the next episode. That19.com.